Two cars are racing. Car A steadily speeds up from rest to 90 miles per hour at the finish line. Car B is already moving 50 miles per hour at the start and maintains a constant speed for the duration of the race. All right, so for car A, we don't see any motion lines behind it at the start, and it says speeds up from rest. So that means my initial speed is zero, and it gives me a final speed of 90 miles per hour at the finish line. Using the average speed rule, I can just cut that 90 in half since the initial speed is zero, and I get an average speed of 45. All right, car B says travels with a constant speed of 50 meter miles per hour the entire time. So the question is who won the race? So I know at the start, car B was moving faster. And at the end, so car B took the lead, but car A must have been catching up later because the her final speed was 90 miles per hour. But who actually won? Did car A do enough? Well, the key is to look at the average speed. So instead of thinking about car A speeding up from 0 to 90, the big picture in this unit is is car A is going to go just is going to complete the race in the same amount of time as if it traveled with a constant speed of 45 miles per hour. That's what average speed means. So that's a really important thing to keep in mind. So to solve this problem, big picture is the car with the greater average speed wins the race. In that in my case, it was car B. All right, let's take a look at another vocab and concept problem. So here's a car shown at one second time intervals. So zero, one second, two seconds, three seconds. It says what was happening to the car's speed. So the car, speed is how far you travel each second. So in the first second, you traveled that far. In the next second, you traveled that far. And in the next second, we traveled that far. All right, so I see that those distances are getting larger. That means the speed was increasing. All right, another way to look at this is instead of looking at the spaces um, at equal times, we can look at equal distances and, and use a stopwatch to time it. All right, so this bicyclist passes flags at zero seconds. That's when we stop, start our stopwatch. Three seconds and seven seconds. All right, so let's look from, to go from A to B, the bicyclist took three seconds. To go from B to C, the bicyclist took four seconds. So I realized that to travel the same distance in a shorter amount of time, that's where the bicyclist was going faster. Remember, a longer amount of time means a slower speed. So the bicyclist was traveling faster between A and B than she was between B and C. Her speed must have been decreasing. 